Hello everyone, it's Rebecca with the Glitz Stitchery. I'm here today with a box opening and product review. Um, this is a newer Furls product. I'm a little bit late getting this out, but I did want to give it a shot. So I'm going to open this up. Normally I would just rip this open, but I hate the uh, string tape. <laughs> there we go. Should be three hooks in here. I ordered two of the Silver Streamline Metal Ergonomic Hooks and one Streamline Swirl Crochet Hook Second. Alright, so I am glad they finally added metal hooks to the lineup. I'm excited to try these out. So which one is which? They're not labeled. <laughs> well, I'm going to assume the two without any measurement are probably the metal ones, then the one with the sticker would be the odd one out. Okay, yeah. So this one is the second quality resin hook. I think the color was Virgo. It says it's a six millimeter, but it was missized. It's actually a 5.5 millimeter. So that's quite pretty. I like that. But this one is not coming with me for the crochet hook test because we've already tested the resin ones before. Now the new product that I've never tried before is the metal hooks. So before they had the wooden ones, which I've shown on the channel before, and the resin ones. And now they have these. And this is quite heavy. I assumed it would be hollow, but that doesn't feel hollow. So I was a little late getting to these. They only had two sizes left. I bought one of each of them and then just added in the second quality resin hook to get free shipping. Um, I should have stated in the very beginning, but obviously these were not part of the promotion or anything. I pay for everything on my, on my own. So I have two of the new aluminum hooks. I have a 6.5 millimeter K and a seven millimeter L. These are reasonably heavy. They're really shiny. They're very kind of sci-fi looking. I like it. So I'm going to be taking these with me on vacation and giving them a thorough hook test while I'm on vacation. So you can expect to see some footage of that shortly. So yeah, these are quite interesting and I'm excited to try them out. All right, so I'm back from vacation, obviously. I'm a little behind in filming this particular video. I uh, got a little distracted, <laughs> but that's all right. I am on to it now so we can finish this up. So while I was on vacation, I did crochet this hat with the two hooks. I used the larger size hook for the body of the hat and the smaller sized hook for the ribbing. Uh, they did work pretty well. I was holding two strands of yarn together for the fluffy portions that have some mohair in them. And they did work very nicely for that. Um, I didn't notice any particular issues with splitting or with stitches slipping off the hook, at least not with the animal based fibers. I also took some little random bits I had of various colors and did a entrelac sample with these hooks and they do work really nicely for that because the larger portion of the taper is further up the hook so you do have a fairly decent amount where it's roughly the same size all the way around. So you can get uh, like five or six stitches on there before it becomes a problem. Now they are obviously heavier than the wooden hooks. So I took out my wooden hooks. This one is a seven millimeter. Um, this one's a seven millimeter. Yeah, this is significantly heavier. So let's see if I can get the scale to work. All right, what is this set to? Grams, all right. So the peppermint one is 11.38 grams and the aluminum is 45.18. So that is a huge difference. Um, you are definitely going to feel it while you're crocheting. For me, this was not overly heavy and also it feels sturdy. Like if I drop it, I'm not going to break it. It's not like the resin ones where I will 
definitely break them if I drop them. And just out of curiosity, do I have a seven millimeter in resin that I can weigh? I don't think I do. No. I have an eight millimeter. Let's weigh that one. 22.87. Okay, so I doubt a single millimeter size will make that big a difference in weight. So presumably the resin is twice the weight of the wood and the metal is twice the weight of the resin. I wonder if that carries through for all of the woods. Because I have a few different seven millimeters. 13.7, that's pretty close. Sixteen point six. Well, this one's the. I forget what color this is. Ebony. I think it's ebony. Who knew I had so many that were in the same size? Okay, after that it goes into six point five. So that's not an exact match. Yeah, I have a few different six point fives. Here we go. La one last seven millimeter, 13.7. Okay, so the wooden ones are all relatively close. They're, you know, within five grams or so of each other. I don't know, I was just curious about that. So yeah, metal ones are much heavier. Now, I have been using it to start this crocheted cotton shawl. Um, I do like how fast I'm working with these hooks. However, my one issue is that it is very slippery with the cotton, so I don't think it's quite a good match for the cotton. I would prefer wood with the cotton, or actually the resin would probably do pretty well with the cotton, but it's just a little too slick, so I'm going to be swapping to a different hook for this project. With wool, though, I really like these. Um, I felt like I was going so fast when I was making this hat, so that was really nice, and the entrelac also felt like it was going super, super fast. The best thing about these hooks though is they match my aluminum uh, yarn bowl that was also from Furls. Well, Furls brand, but I think I got it from Lee Crochet at one point. I do love this. <laughs> I wish I'd gotten the, the brass one. I think it was brass. Maybe it was gold. It was just another tone of metal. It would have been cool to have both, but that's okay. I just like that these match, and I do think in the future I would like to get more sizes because I do really like them. Um, I have the 6.5 and the 7. I think I would like to get a 5.5, a 6, and an 8, and then that is all the sizes I am likely to ever need. I don't really work smaller than that, and I don't really work larger, so just like that five size range is the entirety of what I use, so that would be great. Um, so yeah, I would recommend these if you are able to try them and if you want to give them a try. Just like I said, keep in mind they're a lot heavier. So if you have joint issues or issues with heavier objects, you are going to struggle with these a little bit. Uh, my favorite part about them is since they're metal and they're cold, but then they warm up as I work with them. Um, I like how metal conducts heat. For me personally, it's very comfortable. And also sometimes when my hands are sore and like a little swollen and it's really hot here right now. Yeah, just the cold metal feels really good on my hands sometimes. So yeah, I highly recommend them. Give them a shot if you are able to. I'm not sponsored in any way or anything. I pay for these myself and I gotta pick up the rest on my own at some point in the future. Maybe I'll ask for them for my anniversary next year. <laughs> so yeah, that is it for this video today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Mm -hmm.